Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Tanya Azar, university instructor, wife, cat mom, and passion planner ambassador. Today I'm going to um, show you all how I use the month views of the passion planner, which is my favorite planner of all time, and um, how I basically set up for a new month since we are starting September. As you can see, I've already sort of pre-planned pre a little bit here. Um, and that's because I do use the months to plan forward in time. So as you can see, the future months, I still have some things written down, recurring meetings and special events and things like that. And I also picked out just a few little decorative stickers, kind of a fall going back to school kind of vibe because that certainly jives with my own life. Um, but just something to sort of jazz it up a little bit. But as you can see, I'm not a highly decorative planner. I do like a little bit of jazz, but just not um, overly, uh, overly prepared. Um, you know, my colors don't even really match each other at this, at this moment. I'm potentially going to, to fix that. But in any case, um, really, I want to use this as sort of a functional spread to help me, you know, collate my goals um, to sort of schedule them in a specific month that I can then move to my weekly um, views every single week as I set those up. So as you can see, I've listed out recurring meetings, birthdays, um, and special events. Uh, some things that I've scheduled with friends, we're going to be going uh, river tubing last of the season. It's going to be a lot of fun, it's outdoors, very safe. Um, and I am going to have two friends over for dinner, um, both of them are vaccinated and they work from home, so I'm feeling pretty safe about that. Um, so one of the things I like to do every single at the beginning of every single month is I do like to um, take a look and see uh, whose anniversaries are coming up, whose birthdays are coming up, and I like to get greeting cards for them all at once so that I can then um, address them, you know, add a gift if I'm giving a gift for that particular occasion, and then distribute them in the mail or in person as is appropriate. But I find this is helpful to batch them so that I'm not having this scattershot approach where I may or may not make, make it in time for their birthday or their anniversary or what have you. Um, for example, in September, I have two friends whose birthdays are in September and my grandmother's birthday is also in September. So I'm gonna get some cards for them. Um, but that's one of my personal goals for the month for sure. Also, my husband and I have some home repairs that we need to get on top of. We have like a you know, a list like all homeowners that never seems to end of things that we want to change about the house, but we have some pressing things, um, some light bulbs that need changing, a variety of things. Um, so those ones on the sort of immediate list need to be taken care of. Um, so the greeting cards and the home repairs certainly. And, um, and in terms of personal too, uh, one of the things I like to do when I'm setting up a new month is I like to flip to my 21 for 2021 list for whatever year it is. Um, something that I picked up from the internet. And um, as you can see, because this is an academic calendar passion planner, I have my list ready for 22 or my, my space ready for my list for 22 for 2022. Um, but I do have one for 2021 as well. And um, I just like to take a look on here, see how I'm doing, see if I you know, have any that I can check off, um, and then see what I might add for this particular month that will fit in well. Um, definitely going to donate my hair this month. So I'm gonna add that to the September personal projects list. Let me put a marker in here to make that easier. Um, I, I donate my hair to wigs for kids, which means I need to get my hair cut. Um, it is so long right now that I can sit on it sometimes, so it's definitely ready for donating. So that's gonna happen, and um, definitely trying podcasting this month. Um, I've already set up my Anchor account, and I just need to, um, do a couple more things and pull the trigger. Um, just like I did with this YouTube channel, but I do want to, to really give them a go and see what I enjoy doing and see if I wanna persist with both or um, just persist with one. So it always, it's a good thing to start new things to see what, to see what clicks with you. We should make a will. We haven't done that yet. We thought we'd be 
you know, adding a new member to our family. So we were waiting, um, but might as well go ahead and do that before the end of the year. Probably not this month though. I have a lot going on this month. Um, these things are from that list of things we need to do to the house, but we have some, as I said, repairs we need to do. So that's gonna take precedence over those. And I might um, maybe add a hobby in. So one of the two hobbies that I wanted to add or to, to explore um, this year um, were to begin my study of Arabic, the language, because my husband's family is Palestinian and they speak Palestinian Arabic. I mostly know words for food items, which won't surprise most of you if you have in-laws that speak a different language. Um, but I do have a book that I bought to begin the study of Arabic so I could speak more freely with them. I also have a cross-stitch cross -stitch project that I would actually like to finish that I have begun. Um, so I might put off the Arabic study till next month and finish the cross-stitch project. That way I actually finish projects that I start, which is definitely a sort of meta life goal I have for myself. As for work projects, I do have a grant coming up that I need to make sure I devote some time to, as well as I'm running a panel for the Northeast MLA and the abstracts are due on the 30th. So I need to submit my own abstract to my panel, but also um, check in and, and advertise my panel um, for people who are who want to be a part of it. So that's a goal of mine. And then I'm just gonna flip real quick to my roadmap. Um, this has changed a little since I made it back in June. You know, I was, um, as, as you know, if you um, follow my blog, anticipating having a child, which isn't happening anymore. Uh, but I still have other goals on here that I wanted to achieve in certain timeframes. Um, this book proposal and the publication of an art, everything else is sort of on track, but the, the book, um, the book project is tied to this grant actually. So kind of working on both of them will, will help both of them, will help me achieve both of them. And I also have, um, feedback on an article from my writing group that I need to process and then I need to submit this thing. So those are my major work projects. Um, the only thing, other things I'll add here are, I am teaching two community engaged courses this term and setting these up is extremely labor intensive. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it requires a lot of navigating with community partners, organizing the students, you know, it's not just sort of like setting up the class and then teaching it. Um, so this is, I'm putting it here because it is a, a major focus of mine in the month of September. I need to get that stuff squared away. And then once it's kind of on a roll, I don't have to think about it as much, but it is going to take time and energy and mental effort. So I put it on here partly to remind myself that I'm doing a lot and so not to be too hard on myself if I can't meet all of these sort of stretch goals that I have for myself. Um, and to, of course, acknowledge um, the work that I'm actually doing for that as well. So that's kind of what I do when I set up a month. I take a look at the passion roadmap, which I'll talk about in another video, and my 21 for 2021 list, which I'll probably go more into in a, in a future video. Um, and then make sure that I'm, I'm putting it kind of here in this space. Um, so that I'm not forgetting, right, about all my goals. I used to get to the end of the year, take a look at my goal list, and, you know, be pleasantly surprised if I met any of them, because I honestly would forget that I made them, and being the person that I am, I tended to achieve at least some of them, but this is much better in that I can, you know, remind myself of what I wanted to get out of this year and try to really schedule it into my life. You know, I think that's the major difference. I haven't decided what to do with this part of the month view. Um, previously, I, I listed monthly tasks and weekly tasks, which I'll probably go into in another video as well. Um, again, those just help me kind of stay on track. And when I'm going to set up each week, I take a look at the spread and it reminds me, oh yes, I have these tasks. So 
might be something I do, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep repeating it every single month or not. Um, and this I have covered up in the past with stickers and I may do so again. I'm not entirely sure. I'm actually, I might, you know, rely on the planner community to give me some ideas for what to use this left column for here or these, these boxes. Um, so to be, to be determined. Um, but my goal is to do one of these plan with me's every single month so you guys can plan along with me um, so that you can uh, see what I do and, and also chime in um, in the comments if you have ideas for how I can use the month view or how you use the month view. Um, and I really appreciate that you're taking the time to watch these videos. I know I enjoy watching other people's plan with me so hopefully you've enjoyed this and if you did please like and subscribe and uh, share potentially with your with your networks uh, and I will see you back here next month. Have a good one.